What's going on guys, Custom RC Mods here. Today we're at a new location, which is the Computer Command Center, where I do all my editing for my YouTube videos. And I'm sorry if I look like a potato, because obviously this room is not set up for proper lighting for these videos, um, but maybe in the future we'll look into something like that. So today we're starting something new, which is gonna be a large project that is gonna be well documented all over my channel. Um, this is gonna be a new EDF jet that's gonna be a little bit more agile than the Concord was, if you guys have not seen the Concorde, I'll post some links to the videos down below. You, there's some free plant. It's a great six and a half foot long EDF jet, which is really cool, and it looks like the Concorde, so that makes it extra cool. However, it's not that maneuverable in the sky, and it didn't really fly uh, like I want my EDF jet to fly. So we're gonna try to make the ideal EDF jet here, and I'm gonna take you guys through the entire process from the first line being drawn in the software to the maiden flight of this plane. You're gonna see it all. And let's go ahead and talk about a few topics that we're going to touch on here. We're going to talk about the proportions of flying um, in the planes that you're going to be making, specifically jets here. And then we're going to be talking about just like different softwares and things like that that you might want to use to design it, how to use it, what deals are out there um, to get software. And then next we're going to talk about uh, formatting your plans to be printed out in tiles um, in specifically AutoCAD, um, which is what I did for the Concorde. And that's just something so that you don't have to go to like FedEx or some printing store and get your plans plotted out on a full size sheet of paper. Um, the next thing we're gonna talk about is actually building it and prototyping and then flying and getting it all set up to do that. So we're gonna take you through the wide range of things to do here. And first we're gonna start off with, with today's video, which is gonna be preliminary design and building the plane within the software. Today I'm using AutoCAD 2019. Speaking of AutoCAD, let's go ahead and fire it up right now. Um, All right, so we're here in AutoCAD 2019, which is my editing software of choice. And we're gonna start off with building some parameters for this plane. Now, parameters are basically gonna be a box around this thing, so I'm making mine four feet long by 25 inches wide. And that's just personally what I want for my jet to be long and to be fast. So basically, this is gonna be something that we're gonna build around the jet so we don't build it any bigger than we want to. So we're basically creating a three view here, which if you don't know what that is, that's basically a top view, side view, and front view um, of our jet here. It's not very hard to do, so don't leave right now just because you've never heard that word before. Um, but basically, I just drew a line down the center um, something really simple to do. It's gonna be a mirror line uh, so that I can get the exact same image on both sides. Um, then I went ahead and made a fuselage that's about 1.9 or so inches in uh, as a radius, um, so 3.8 inches in diameter. And that's gonna help me um, make it so it fits drift perfectly for the 70 millimeter EDF, which has about that diameter as well. Now I'm gonna go ahead and make a wing line, and we're just going uh, pretty, you know, free, and you know, I'm not really confining myself to something that has to be realistic. I'm just gonna try to get my idea down um, onto my drawing here, and then later we'll kinda make some touch-ups and things like that. So don't worry if you are completely crazy and don't understand exactly what's going on. Just go ahead and draw and get your general idea down, and then you can make further refinements later. So I'm kinda deciding what my angle should be on the paper right now. Um, so I think I decided for around a 110 degree angle for this jet and I'm making a recessed uh, fuselage and making it kind of give this aggressive styling look. So I'm making the uh, Elevon hinge right there which is gonna turn red because there's a score line um, for this specific build. Nothing too complicated here and as you can see we've got the wing done so we're gonna go ahead and mirror it over to the other side where um, now we have a full, pretty much completed three view besides the nose. So now we're gonna go ahead and delete that portion of the fuselage uh, so that the wings stick off a little bit on the end and give it a little bit of extra leverage when it's flying. Uh, you can think about the physics of it a little bit, but again, this is gonna be the creative part of this video, so we don't really have to think about uh, the if it's actually gonna fly or not quite yet. Let's just go ahead and keep getting our ideas on paper. Now I went ahead and went eight inches down uh, for this nose. I think that's about the right size, but it's really whatever it looks like to you. The nice thing about this three view is that it's not going to be the end result, the actual plan uh, of this plane. So you don't really have to worry about that right now. Uh, just kind of make it look nice um, for what it looks nice to you. 
at this moment. So now let's go ahead and draw a tail. I went for a 10 inches long, I believe, um, on this tail, which, you know, may be a little bit out of proportion. I'm not sure. Just go ahead and make sure um, that you're doing whatever you think looks best to you. And that's really the point I'm trying to drive home here. So now we've got the basic uh, idea of this jet all figured out. There's really not much to it. The EDF is mounted inside this fuselage right here. Then we've got the two wings and the elevons and the nose cone is already made. Um, so it's very similar to my Concorde if you saw that. Um, but you know, it doesn't really have to be that complicated and hopefully these are going to be a little bit different um, in terms of flight characteristics of course because they're a lot shorter. So now let's go ahead and work on the side view. It's again 48 inches long so I went ahead and made a 48 inch long line to represent the fuselage here and then we offset it um, after I move it right here. We're going to go ahead and offset that 3.8 inches which is the diameter of the fuselage. So let's go ahead and do that now. So you can see that we're going ahead and first doing the 8 inches for the nose so that we know when to do the 3.8 um, inches for the fuselage and I'm going ahead and double checking my work right there which is always good so you can have an accurate drawing. Now you can see of course 3.8 going into it and then finally back down for the nose. So now we have the basic shape of the nose cone. It's not perfect quite yet, but either way I think that we're getting there and getting the general idea. And the basic idea of the three view um, is to communicate your ideas for your design. Uh, so it doesn't have to be perfect like I said, um, but you're just trying to kind of show what you're looking into. So basically we're cutting off three point or just three inches I believe for the uh, rear recessed part of the fuselage and of course it's represented by um, the top part of the fuselage here because of course there's that extension on the wing that makes it the full 48 inches. Now I'm going to go ahead and draw this line back up right here so that we can uh, finish the representation and draw a line straight down between them just like so. So the next thing we need to work on is the tail which we're going out 10 inches um, from the back end of the fuselage and I haven't yet determined a angle for the tail so I think we're going to go around 150 or so degrees um, for this design. It doesn't really matter again we're just drawing um, and I decided to make it a uh, random length which looked fine to me. Uh, so this is basically what I want my tail to look like. Hopefully it's enough of a vertical stabilizer in the end, but we'll find out that out through the uh, prototyping process. So now my side view is finished and we can move on to the front view, which is probably the trickiest of all of the views because we're um, gonna have to represent the shape of the fuselage here. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off by drawing a diameter line for the fuselage, which is gonna be 3.8 inches, just like, of course, the diameter of the fuselage. Let's go ahead and zoom in. I'm gonna draw a circle now right on top of that. So we're gonna find the midpoint here. And the one thing about this is once we got the circle drawn, we can go ahead and move this line down. But in, in order to complete it, we have to go ahead and turn on object snap because we don't have the quadrant mode turned on. So if you don't know what any of this is, just take a basics in AutoCAD course and you'll know what I mean. But basically, we're turning on quadrant so that it will recognize and snap the lines to the uh, quadrant of the circle. So let's go ahead and draw a new line that's going to be a about 1.9 inch line up to the um, edge of the circle and then like a tangent line form. So we're going to do that on both sides. So now you can see that the uh, upside down U shape of the fuselage is really taking shape. So now we got the trim tool out and we're going to trim off the underside of this fuselage. So now of course we've got the uh, nature of the fuselage all figured out and it's ready to go. So now that we've got that, the basic view of this plane is pretty much done in terms of the fuselage, but now we're going to go ahead and take a few more measurements off of the side view in terms of the tail height. So I took that at about 6.0202, I believe, um, is what it is. So we're going to go ahead and just draw a line that's 6.0202 up and bam there we are that's our tail and now what we have to do is go ahead and make our line for the wing so let's just draw a line from the edge of the fuselage right here out to the end of the wing and it's about 10.6 um, exactly which is what we're going to use um, to make this wing edge in our design and that's pretty much all there is to it so once we got that we can go ahead and mirror this line on both sides so just mi for mirror and then choose the center line of course, and then 
there we are. That is basically the view. We're pretty much done with it. Um, that's three different views that are going to kind of show the representation of what your plane is going to look like at the end. This is not a very complex drawing, so that's a good place to start if you're new at designing. I hope this video was helpful to you guys, um, and if it was, please go ahead, give it a thumbs up. If it wasn't, tell me what I can do to improve these videos. This is the first video in this long series. Next time, we're going to go ahead and focus on what we can do to unfold and make the all of the little different parts to make this plane actually printable and make it into a building plan. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later.